Hello, my beautiful love goods, and welcome back. So in today's build, I am building yet another tiny house. This tiny house is a little bit of a quirky tiny house. I kind of had the idea that maybe the Sim that lived here has done some exploring of some kind or another. Um, I'm not really sure. They just give me an adventurous kind of quirky, bohemian traveler kind of vibe. And I don't know, I just really like it. It's really cute. Um, I love the style. It's a pretty simple tiny house in concept. It's a micro home, so there it is under 32 tiles. I think it's actually exactly 32 tiles. I could be wrong, but yeah, it's a really cute little open plan tiny home. Uh, there is just a little bathroom and then everything else is just in its own room or no, everything else is in the same room. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I'm very tired, you all. It's been, it's been a pretty chaotic week. Um, this video is late today just because of the fact that I'm tired. <laughs> um, I am, I just recently started a, a new job and I, uh, it was grand opening week there. And let me tell you all, it is, it was exhausting. Let me, it was so much. It just, I don't know. It, it had been because I, I'm not used to working like on my feet as much. I haven't done that in, you know, a little bit since moving. And I don't know. It just was pretty crazy. And plus it was just really fast paced. So I was just, I don't know, I was pretty tired, but um, things are gonna return to normal soon. Don't worry. I am gonna be putting more time back into YouTube, but I do need a little bit of some time to kind of recuperate and just kind of, you know, Re, uh, replenish my batteries, we could say. But um, today I am finishing up this build and I, I really love this build. It's super cute. Um, it gives me, I don't know, it's just, it's just quirky vibes. I really wanted to use this reddish brown swatch on some of these like woods and fences and all that fun stuff. And I don't know, I just, I really love how it looks. And um, I went with like a gray siding and this like green metal, like siding is it siding i don't know but it just looks like green metal tin or aluminum or whatever it's called but yeah it's it's really really cool i really like this vibe and this just overall aesthetic it just gives me like it gives me like an eco house vibes but this one it's a bit quirkier because it's got some you know more non you know traditional pieces that you would expect like the uh, flower boxes are from get together those are very like Tudor styled and then there's like some island living like that island living like tree there with some lavender it's just kind of a little bit chaotic and I really really enjoy that it's just it's different and uh, I don't know, it's, it was fun. I feel like the majority of my videos anymore are being like, oh my God, I had so much fun because I don't know what else to say because I'm chaotic and I'm just like overwhelmed. But uh, I just worked on a bit of landscaping. I, I kept it pretty wild, nothing too crazy, but still a little bit wild. You know, I love me some lavender. And then here I am going on into the interior. It didn't honestly take me very long to do this build. I'm just gonna tell you all. That's why I do tiny homes a lot is I love tiny homes because they take so little time to build. Um, and I just, I can get an idea out there without putting in like hours and hours and hours of building. It just takes like 40 minutes sometimes. So yeah. Um, but I used this city living bed here and I did move the headboard through the wall with move objects. Um, it is still functional and just fine the way it is, but I just wanted to hide that headboard just so that it would look a little bit simpler. And, uh, yeah, it does stick outside of the house a bit, but I covered it with a few things. So it, it kind of worked. And yeah, there's a little bedroom area there. I love all the, like the, the paintings, pictures on the wall. And um, I was gonna put the kitchen here and I kind of liked the idea of it being there, but it didn't really fit. And I really wanted them to have an actual stove because I don't know, you could possibly even make this house uh, off the grid. Obviously you would have to replace some things to make it off grid, but um, I don't know. I need to build another off grid house because uh, the Sims that I am currently playing over on my second channel, which I will leave a link down below to, um, they actually live in an off grid or they used to live in an off grid cottage but it got to the point where it was really hard for them to live because they were so poor and they just I don't know I was struggling but I do want them to go off grid soon um, it's just it's a matter of time before they can afford it it's, it's kind of the irony is that um, they were just really suffering because you know it's like a family with like 
you know, I, you know, young adult Sim and his like younger teen brother and younger, younger like child sister. And it was really hard just to like live with them and like have all of them in that little tiny house with just like off grid. And I don't know. It just, it made it a little bit unpleasant, but I do plan on making it off grid soon. Uh, yeah, just go watch that video. Cause I did upload a video recently. If you're interested in me playing some actual gameplay, um, I thought it would be better to just have it on a second channel so that I could keep it kind of separate. And I just feel like this is a build channel. And if you're interested in builds, you know, you can subscribe here and uh, just watch my builds here. But if you're interested in gameplay, go check out that channel. Um, obviously I have got nowhere near as much content. Like I've got one video up there, um, but uh, I am going to be recording some gameplay soon because it's, it's honestly something that it's a nice break from you know, recording builds because I love building. I, I can build till the end of the world, but there's only so much you can do in one day. And it's nice to kind of at least break up my little building sessions with a bit of gameplay. And I don't know, it was fun. It was really, really fun. And I definitely plan on just kind of bouncing around from family to family in this save file that I found, which is really amazing. It's called the fresh start save file. It's so cool. Um, it just ugh. simmers y'all people are amazing like they come up with the best stuff and this was it's such a good pack pack no uh it's such a good save file because um if you have all the packs like me um it actually makes it so that you know all the lots and the sims and everything are kind of up to date with all the packs and there's like a lot to do there's a lot of items that are new and like i don't know because like a lot of the packs that we do have, not all of them, but a good majority of them don't come with worlds. So you don't really get to see the items be used outside of builds that you create or someone else creates. In this case, it's like, oh, I'm just booting up a save file and it's right there. And it's it's really awesome. I, I don't know. I, it was a lot of fun to just check it out. But anyways, I'll leave that video down below uh, for that gameplay little bit. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And yeah, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay home. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated. And yeah, that's everything. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and beware of the Nargles.